In this one we'll be finding out more about the mermaids and taking on a giant squid, basically a kraken. Welcome to the video, I'm Mad Morph and this is my playthrough of Dave the Diver and it's part 2. So many people left a comment on the first part asking for more of this one so I hope that you enjoy this. Please do let me know in a comment if you'd like to see it continued with a part 3 and like and subscribe for more indie gaming playthroughs. Straight off the bat, we'll catch a few fish. So at least we know that there is food to be had tonight. So what I might do is make this one a fish run, and then I'll make the next one an equipment run. Oh, you get to live for that dodge, okay? So this time fish, next run, I'm gonna try and get to that package. so wrong, honestly. Sorry, you seem so friendly and just got a big old dumb face on you, but it's gotta come from somewhere, ain't it? canister perfect maybe I will try and get the packages then because that's kind of thing I'm gonna need let's get a gun upgrade as well it's a tip upgrade flame harpoon tip flames underwater barracuda ding da 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 What is it? Oh, don't push me! Ow! Whoa! Ow! Got it. Camera lens. Ah! me onto the spikes. Oh, now I just need a motor. What's that? Oh, it's like a clam. Wait. Did that fill my O2 up? Why am I full O2? Clam, do it. Is this an anglefish? Anglerfish? Okay, see so if we can find the last package since they're usually around here. Hey! Oh, you're trying to spike me! Stop that. Can't stop me 
you know. Having such a good time. I don't seem to have any other packages here, but let's see over here. See any? A bit scared of that critical depth. I don't want to risk it. Also, can't really go that way. Let's go up. Ah, the thing goes so quick. <gasps> there it is. Just don't get spiked. It's right there. safely. Oof. That does give you oxygen, the clam. We're almost full weight-wise, so... Be time to... Skedaddle. Skedaddle, skedoodle. There's a shark there. The shark's pretty... Non-lethal tranquilizer gun. Can I maybe drop some stuff so I could get some shark? I feel like everything I've got is pretty essential. Might as well hold on to the anglerfish. We know where the sharks are if we need one. I want to try this, um... Trank gun. Can I not, like, yoink you whilst you're asleep? Wait, maybe whilst you're tranked. No? That didn't quite work, did it? I'm not sure what I'm meant to do with that, then. <laughs> Have a nap. There you go. Whoa, you weren't asleep for long. should be able to deploy a drone with this. You look pretty exhausted. Sea currents did knock me around a bit. <laughs> I see. I'll take a bit of time to repair the drone and deploy it. Wait a while. It should be done by tomorrow morning. I did my two dives. No, I got confused. Wait, there's a cat here. <laughs> Hi. It's staring at you. Cutie pie. Okay, let's do our afternoon dive then. Upgrade equipment? Maybe. Let's see what we can... Diving and more air tank even. Do diving suit for some more depth and carry weight. Let's go from there. Gun seems fine at the moment. Let's see how we go. That's what I think. We're in. We're in the giant blue hole. Well, I got the packages, so I guess this one could be a fishy trip. Maybe I'll try and go and get a shark or something. A sledge toy hammer. What am I, Harley Quinn? <laughs> it makes a little squeak, too.
I mean, keep the sledgehammer, honestly. What's that fish? I haven't seen that before. This boy here. <gasps> that was close. That was close. Oh, you're a puffer fish, right? Okay, well. Makes sense, I suppose. Didn't notice you're all skinny. My, you've lost weight. Alright, we've got some O2 here. Taking note. Definitely forget it, but you know, it's fine. Get some ecological bits. Get those rewards. And uh, take you out. Didn't I just upgrade you? Oh, sorry. Both of these, I think I did. Overpopulated invasive lionfish, did that say? There's an overpopulation of this. We're eating good on the humphead parrotfish. The way he dies with his little buck tooth is so sad. Oh, you got me. I guess she's gonna be eating good sushi tonight. Go, go. How do you feel about your teeth? Do you like your teeth? Sensitive subject. Teeth, innit? Some people that just either don't think about their teeth, and those people have great teeth. And some of us who aren't quite happy with our teeth. Oh my god, this one does one. It puts them to sleep! Amazing. Those of us who don't like hard teeth, it becomes like a, oh no, don't look at my teeth. Bam. I had um, like a retainer, like braces, but my teeth are straight. And like that thing was so painful that I didn't really wear it very much. And I've had no teeth problems. My teeth are straight. They're not crooked anywhere. That, and it's, I don't know why they tried to make me wear that and go through so much pain. Seems silly now, thinking about it. I hate the dentist though. Whoa. Sharky and where's George, you know? If I can get you quick, I can chop you up and then get the uh, escape pod. Thumbs up. I can carry 28 now. That's so much fish. But I'm nearly out of O2. And I'm a bit worried about... <gasps> Wait! I have a canister. I nearly left before my time. I'm so young. So much to give. Dun, 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 dun. And there's a big O2 there. Perfect. Whoa. <laughs> I don't have a proper weapon, so you're just gonna have to sleep, I'm afraid. Good, now I got some ammo. <gasps> I've just realized we're deeper than we've ever been before. We're at a hundred. Oh dear. <gasps> oh, don't kill me. Full. Hundred and seven. More oh two. Nearly full, but how deep does this go? Down to one twenty. Thirty. <gasps> It's too dark down here. It'll be dangerous. Oh yeah, don't go down where it's dark. That sounds terrifying. That's my cue to go up, I think. Let's see if I can't squeeze another fish out. I don't think I have one of these. Red ones. Oh, you're poisoned. Give it up.
There we go. Time to leave. Probably the best run we've done so far. One, you know, upgrading your equipment does wonders for you, doesn't it? your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi Sushi Sushi. On the menu today, let's go ahead and serve that shark head. Three hump head. Enhance it first because we have so much of it. I can skip this, I just realized. It's level four, it's costing people 30 a pop. If I enhance it again, I have enough to. And now we have enough for four servings. It's just so easy to recognize it down there and be like, oh yeah, that's that fish, let me get it, you know? Serve this. Serve the level two of that. So I know if I go over, it's discarded. Remaining menu is discarded. So if I put six and we don't sell six, obviously you're trying to find the sweet spot. want, but it's fine. We're doing pretty well at catching fish. Um, it's open. Should probably get some more staff in here and do an advert. There we go. Hiring has begun. Once someone applies, Come on in. Can I get anyone some uh, green tea? And perfect. Come on, chef. Chef needs some help, I think. It's getting pretty busy in here. Come on. Fill that up whilst we're there. Uh, grab that one. Oh boy. Where's the other shark head for this guy? Oh, don't leave, sir. We haven't lost a customer yet. Go. He needs some help in the kitchen for sure. Oof, just in time. Come on, shark head, shark head, shark head. Clean up. Oh, to you. To me. To you. you get the next one. Fill the wasabi. Close. Takes so long. At the end. Wait. Wait. Okay. So what did I have left? Two of those, two shark heads. One, one. So I probably put too much on the menu, but it's better than last time when I just had one. And that's why we're actually making some money now. <laughs> Saturday, the 8th. Good morning. Sorry, I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symposium. Did you speak with Cobra? Come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was repairing a drone yesterday. <laughs> a bit late, aren't I? I repaired the drone just fine, thanks to you. Got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Also... Oh, thank you. Dr. Bacon, will these do? 
Alright, let's head back to that rock pile. Oh, wait. I haven't finished. Starting today, the Cobra shop is officially open. What's that? Deliveries have stopped, but with the drone in working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Talk to me and select Cobra shop. I'll buy some stuff you don't need. I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to be able to prepare. <laughs> I won't charge high prices just because I've got the only business here. Don't be afraid to visit often. Time to head back to the rock pile. Okay. The Cobra Shop. Auxiliary items and sell your items at the Cobra Shop. Ah, just in case there's something worth documenting inside, uh, take this underwater camera with you. Camera? That's right. It'll be important for research to record important data with photos. Take the camera. I'll let you know when I find the right place to use it. Bye. Our morning dive down to the pile of rocks. Imagine diving in your socks. Go to the rock pile. Oh good, it's giving me a waypoint. Lovely jubbly. Open this box, another mallet. Well that just puts people to sleep, so I'm gonna leave it this time. Harpoon. Enhanced tip. Baseball bat. We will take that. Like a bloody Dr. Zeus book today. Unintentional rhymes all over the shop. I just can't stop. Okay, I think I want to go this way, actually. Don't make me do it. Why? We didn't do anything with this or all these materials yet. Looks like I do have to go this way after all. Can't go under it. Gotta go over it. rock pile. 60 meters. Shark spotted. Engaged. Sharks on the menu tonight, boys. Ow. <gasps> Out of bullets. Oh, sorry. Um, I need some oxygen. Well, damage over time. Poisoned. Got him. You need some O2 though. Bloody hell! Hope someone's here. Swim softly, little soldier. And pray for an O2 canister in here. Well, it's better than nothing. There we go. Good boy. Into the cave, get the gun. It's an upgrade. Games where you collect stuff and go up and sort of do things, it's, it's just so compelling. It's just, it scratches such an itch. I'm just like, yes, collect things. I must collect. I am the collector. Jokers. There it 
this. We are here. Try placing one of the bombs Cobra gave you on that rock pile. All good. You know, it's sort of hard to see through the radio. We can't have you torn into a thousand pieces to become food for the sharks. That's a scary thing to say in such a casual voice. Back away from the bomb. That should be enough. Here it goes. <gasps> Boom. Nice, the road's clear. A faint light coming from inside. Go in there. What if there's a monster or something? That would also be an amazing scientific discovery. A new region? The Ma. People bloody love mermaids, don't they? Wow, this place is... Wow. It appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There's definitely a, was a sea people civilization. Look at that mural back there. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe these are from some ancient civilization that sank from seismic activity. A good point, but that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Investigate. Can't be a natural pillar. Mysterious characters engraved on it. The mural seems to be of a warrior or a king. It looks powerful. There seems to be scales on the lower body. Is this a mural of the mural of the sea people? Mural's wedding. A painting of dolphins and marine plants. Only the sea people. The sea people could draw, not write. Not only write. Ah, oh, good, that should be enough. I'd like to research a little more. Take a photo with the camera. How? How do I do that? Is it on my phone or something? Of the mural? Oh. Camera. A camera icon indicates you can take pictures. Check your objective on the top left. Use mark to adjust the focus and remove your hand to take a picture. Hold to focus. I see. Oh, I see something. Oh, it might be another Sea People artifact. Bring it to me. I guess I'll take my time because I see my oxygen has uh, been frozen. He toucheth the plate. Get him. It's the sound from before. Mm, a record chamber filled with sea people symbols. What could they have written? Didn't you hear something? What do you mean? Didn't hear anything. Come back up to the boat. They're going to be mad at me. Oh, I sure hope some hot mermaid doesn't come out here and grab me because she's so angry that I picked up that dish. That would be terrible. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Plenty more fish in the sea. Plenty more fish in the sea for me. Let's um go up to the boat, I guess. May as well use this booster because, actually, let me fill up my pockets with fish. Let's use these boys here. Inky boy. Are these the cuttlefish, I think.
The word cuttlefish just reminds me of that one South Park episode, honestly. I'd love to do an impression, but I can't. A sea people artifact. Hmm. Very interesting. Glad you like it. I have to analyze this artifact in the mural further at my lab. I'll be in touch. Bye. Who's this? Hey, hey, you there. I had an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? Oh, about that, um... We're Sea Blue. We're an organisation... <coughs> Sorry, I'm just going to talk like this now because uh, it's just me clearing my throat. Sorry, son. We're an organisation that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and reports them. I sometimes carry out the justice myself for those that commit particularly evil deeds. I've had reports of someone who's been engaging in mindless destruction of the environment. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware. Whoever arms the Great Sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. And me, John Watson. Now then, be ever grateful to the sea. Never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving for now. We're watching you, son. Boy, sunshine. Alright. Meow. What a creepy dude. It will be okay. Sea Blue. That group's infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporation with big fishing businesses. Not the small fisheries that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the corporations. I expect they'll take bribes or something. You look like bad news. Won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. That was a good haul, I think. Okay. Um, back down for our afternoon dive then. Who are these boys? Oh, new narrow Spanish mackerel. Oh, sorry. Oh, what did I do? Caught in the crossfire, mate. <laughs> collateral damage, that poor little fish. Who are these? Oh, I should probably harpoon little ones, actually. Oh, tough little son of a... Son of a squid. Come on. Eh. I can't get you. But clown frogfish, barracuda. Okay, there's a cool up there. So maybe we just get some of these now. Oh, oh, that was my last thing. Oh no. Wait, so let's go up. We don't have to use the whole time, do we? Oh, I wonder if I can hire anyone for the sushi place today. Let's go see. Still chapter one. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. VIP, Vincent the Gourmet. Hello viewers, this is Yui from the TV show Star the Chef. Today I've come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage on Cookster Banjo Sushi. In the sushi bar that's famous for its exotic sushi, sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert Vincent Yamayoka. I am. Um, Vincent Yamioka. Hello, Vincent. How would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. 
There's only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen. How good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, and how it was molded. All those things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. I see. In that case, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that, the olive flounder and amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients, you understand. To dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo era, regardless of the taste, shows lack of respect. You've once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion on Bancho sushi will be. Let's start by introducing the star of today's show, Bancho. Oh, this is a bit sudden. Uh, I'm called Ban- He's quite reticent. That can only mean he speaks through his cooking. This sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole and the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, which food will you be trying? I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. You there. Bancho, was it? Your name? Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Wow, Vincent offers a daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit by and listen to your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. A standoff between a traditional gourmet and an exotic chef. Things are getting real interesting. We'll come to you live on the next episode. Tune in next time to star the chef. Hmm. I wonder what we'll have to get for that one. What are you going to do? A man does not run from a challenge. I've thought of something. Will you give me the ingredients? Sea grape and white spotted jellyfish. 100 meters limestone cave. You need to capture the white spotted jellyfish. A trank gun or a net gun. You're going to make sushi with those. Okay. Oh boy. Sometimes a VIP customer orders a dish. A designated date. Oh, I don't want to let our friend down. Okay, where's the staff? I thought we were hiring. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at this guy. Cooking. Ooh, you're pretty good. Oh, you, I can't even afford you. You cost a lot, Raul. Raul. Okay, let's get your suke in and put him in the kitchen, I think. Okay. Add you to the kitchen. Great. Can we train you yet? Costs 150 to train you. You become... <gasps> Your stats are actually, like, not great. Mm. Do it. Okay. Menu. We have some new items on today's menu. The warty frogfish sushi. Who in their right mind would order the warty frogfish sushi? No. Oh yeah, this that I learned to make. Sell this. Let's put the shark head on her. Uh. Um, favorite. So using one of them serves five, it looks like, yeah. Now, I have a lot of the white tip reef shark meat, so we'll enhance that. Adding salt. Delish. Getting hungry. I feel like ordering sushi right now. Okay, and then enhance it again. And then serve. Cook. Serve. And. Do I have any other 
high level foods here, not really. I'll throw the cuttlefish out just because. Some extra, because it's quite a low menu. And I think we're good to go. Do I have any more interiors yet? They cost money, okay. Let's open. All right, gang, let's have a good clean session. Let's get some good fish, some good service. Let's be ready. Nailed it. I want to get this place to where it's like the service is just perfect and I can focus on green teeing people up. Take care of the wasabi. You ordered the triggerfish. You ordered that one. You ordered the shark head. Man, we are flying through it now. Triggerfish up the end. Clean up. Tea. The food is flying out of the kitchen tonight. It's perfect. Alright, who wants this? There you go. You down the end there. Wasn't sure who came in first. I'll give it to you. She's got you for that. Shark head. Wow, we emptied the menu. Oh, wasabi. Come on, guys. Two more customers. That was almost a perfect service. Just needed two more items on the menu. So what was that? Five, nine... About 15 to 20 servings. Good round. <gasps> the mirror. Frankincense. Gosh. Hmm, Dave. Yes, Dr. Bacon. Dave. Yes. Uh, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Good news. Ha, you're the positive type. I studied the bracelet you brought me yesterday. It was from the sea people. It's an ancient artifact. The bracelet seems to be imbued with a mysterious power. You can wear this. I'm very grateful, but why? Who knows? There might be some frightening sea people curse on it. <laughs> In any case, try it on first. Thanks, dude. Um, a bracelet. Survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. I feel some kind of new power. Oh, glad to hear nothing bad happened. I'll be able to check your diver box for more information about the charm you're wearing. I have more great news. I've analysed the artifacts and investigation data. I was able to find a very strong signal in these ocean depths. That was the right place. This was the right place. The objects didn't just float over here. The giant blue hole that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit at a sea people site. A lucky opportunity. Sounds like I have to risk my life again. What's the bad news? In order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Deliveries have stopped. Getting one's out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one. Try contacting Duff. Alright. Duff's pink delivery. Huh? I hear loud noises from over there. I should go check things out. What is this? <gasps> Dolphins. Pirates? Hey, why'd you keep bothering these dolphins? 
So you're the one who keeps on interrupting our plans. I can tell by your silhouette. You need to be taught a lesson. You better be ready. Run, dolphins, run. Oh, I was just looking to scare them. Oh, well, I'll have to see if I can defeat them. Defeat the pirates. De defeat the pirates. Defeat. Oh. Take that, you fool. You merely adopted the water. I was born in it. Molded by it. I'm out of ammo is what I am. Whoopsie. Oh, that doesn't work. Guess I'll get close and personal. Yes. Chopped toes. Ah, oh, we're retreating for the day. You'll hear from us again. <laughs> a scoop, a scoop, a scoop, a scoop. Welcome, Echo. They're so cute, especially the little pink one. Rusty dolphin necklace. Nice. Save the dolphins. All in a day's work. So I need to find a delivery for Duff to. Oh, wait, did I pick that up? To um, get what I need for the next bit. He's got like a something Chan being delivered. So we have to see. What are these? I don't know if I've seen these. Ah, oh, do you know what? I don't have enough air to mess around. And then we also needed that stuff for the VIP, which was a hundred meters. So maybe we get down there and see if we can't find what that was. Can I check my phone down here? Uh, sea grape, white spotted jellyfish. Okay, so I've got salt. We need sea grape and the spotted jellyfish, so. We can take that. And this. Good, that's a good gun. We're gonna go down to a depth of 100 meters. See if we can find what we need. Meter. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh. That's a great white. That's a Jaws right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so much health. Holy moly, that actually legit scared me. Sharks terrify me. Oh, it's a tiger shark. I knew that. <laughs> as soon as I said great white, I was like, watch this be a tiger shark. Look at those stripes on it. Listen, I'm not a biologist, okay? Wow, that is a heavy shark. I don't know if that's going to help with carrying. Nope, not really. I don't really want to drop any shark stuff, though. That was, you know, hard fought right there. See if I swim gently, if we can find what we need. What's this? Glass. Oh, hang on. We've got something here. Oh, I think this is for Duff. <laughs> there, my precious Lee's Chan. Bring it to me quick. Finish your mission. Who got tentacled? Sorry. Yeah, 
what was that just now? Uh, my Lee's Chan. Mm -hmm. She disappeared into the unfathomable depths. Yeah, it seems to have been some kind of giant life form. Yeah. Please go retrieve her. Oh. That obviously looks dangerous. Oh. The doors on the ship are all locked. Mm -hmm. Do you really think I didn't think of that before concocting Lee's Chan's rescue plan? Yeah. I'll provide you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Yeah. Even at this moment, she awaits her master. Yeah. Come to the boat. Okay, but I, I need to get the stuff that I need for the thing. Is there really nothing I can drop? I'm like full of tiger shark meat. Seems like it's pretty good. I, get, I would have another day to find the other stuff. Let me just see if any's here, because we are at 100 meters. Beyond that now, actually, so who knows, but... Another silver bowl. Alright, we'll go up. We'll get the stuff with our next dive. Don't seem to be able to spy it right here. Don't want to risk all that tiger shark meat. I mean, if that's the tiger shark, the great white's going to be pretty scary, isn't he? You'll have to stay tuned to see more tentacles and also what other monsters and sharks await. I'm still having trouble calming down, just like Lee Chan did when she first came face to face with Fenrir. Since you found the location, I'll reward you for it. I like to do honest dealings. Yeah. Let's begin. Take this. You'll see a spot that can be cut when you reach the ship. Okay. Well, I saw a huge tentacle. Do you mean to say it's okay for Leash Chan to expire in the darkness down there? This mission must not be delayed. Okay. What's this? Dolphin necklace. Increased dash speed by 30? Fantastic. Hmm. Alright. Mm, so I've got two charms on. Lovely. Let me see. Can we get any upgrades? Honestly, I think carrying more is the move. Satisfying. Going in, boys. Right, let's try and get the stuff for the VIP. On the way to the tentacle place. Just to double check, we want this looking thing and this thing. Oh wait, I have seen these. That's our upgraded dash, huh? pretty quick. Gun enhanced. The gun, the gun, the gun. So tempting to go get that fish right now, but we're on a mish. Pretty sure we'll just be selling all that shark. The limestone cave. This is it. That's what we want. No, that's kelp. Hush dart. Mm, I don't know about that one. Wait. Didn't it say I need to... S I need that to, like, sleep what we need, right? That's perfect. Okay. Burn through your O2, baby. Come on. Those are what I need right there. A lively sun. Put him to sleep. Ow! Ow! Put him to sleep any second now. Put him to sleep. Capture them then! Doing. I thought I had to stun it. What am I imagining then? I had to stun. Okay, got 
get some O2. Whoa. Too. Let's wait for that blast to go by. Now. Whoa. for his dish. I'm happy that we managed to help him. Might as well get this thing. Seashell. Looks like it's white spotted jellyfish for dinner. Okay, so now we're here. We want to go back to the shipwreck. And find the, uh, whatever it is. I think it's like a body pillow or something. Ooh. Which was like 120 meters down. It's bloody things. for capturing live fish. Uh, are you sure about that? isn't it? So I've hit the bottom of the cave, have I? Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, so I've taken a bit of a wrong turn, even though I needed to be in this cave for that stuff. I was hoping to get the tentacle stuff done too. Maybe I can still get over there though. We have quite a bit of oxygen. So sorry. Why won't you just die? You're taking so much. Okay. Don't want to use that. We have quite a bit of oxygen left, so I'm going to try and scooch my way over. My keys. Blooming egg. Getting blown around here. Ow. Meant to 
die with one of those. Oh, spikes! Oh. Oxygen, nice. This... Oh, it's a clam. I always get confused by that for some reason. oxygen. More than I can carry. <gasps> we found it. What's this? A red sniper rifle. This must be the door. Oh, here we go. Turn on the cutter. Keep movements inside the circle. game. A heist for the waifu. I got a steady end. I was in too much of a hurry to properly tell you how to use it, but you figured it out. Go in through the open door. Your master is coming. Gross. <laughs> Not in that voice. The space below seems larger than expected. Take a look around. Okay. Oh, ammo. But I am full in here. An upgrade. Very nice. An another oxygen capsule? Where's all this oxygen been hiding every time I've blimmin' died every two seconds? Delivery box with Mui's chin inside. Look at that giant squid. And that's our culprit. Oh, I guess it knows a good thing when it sees it, even if it's just a squid. It seems to be asleep. I'm gonna ah, oh no! Giant squid. Nightmare. Don't do well with sea monsters. Oh, well, it's awake. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to chicken out. Use the gun I gave you. The harpoon will be of no use. Here we come. What do you mean, what gun? What do you mean, what gun you gave me? You didn't give me a gun. Oh, in the eyeball, maybe. Not the harpoon, though. <laughs> Look out! Oh my god. Boss fight. Sniped, son. Oh, I'm not in position. Hang on, get sniped. There we go. Now, can I get it? 
inked. Oh, oh missed. Swinging up. Oh, wow, I actually... Fully missed. That's why there's so much oxygen down here. Got some ammo. Calamari. Go down, go down, go down lower. Okay, just chill, dude. Chill, dude. You're gonna spit. See is a pink delivery box. Bring it back quickly. <laughs> Telling him won't do any good. The box is pinned under the squid tentacle. We'll have to cut it. I wonder if it's edible. Giant squid sushi. not a body pillow. To think she hasn't been damaged. Oh, there's salt water everywhere. I'll clean you up. Any case, a promise is a promise. Right, now I can go deep. That was a very productive dive. Give Bancho a call. Hmm. All right, buddy. Call Bancho. Let's see. Hey, hey Bancho. What is it, Dave? Mm -hmm. I, I was helping Duff, and I defeated a giant squid. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. I couldn't bring the whole thing. I cut off a bit of its tentacle. Is this edible? Of course. The ammonium chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench, however. Because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers. Why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squid? I've been so busy since we opened. I haven't treated you to any proper food, despite your hard work. It sounds fantastic. Let me clean up. Come to the bar when ready. But we were about to have the best day because I got so much ingredients, but I guess a party's fine. <gasps> the size of it. I, I like stopped getting calamari because squid are so smart. And I just can't since. Like, it just makes me feel bad, so I stopped ever ordering it. But I had had it a few times. Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. Oh. You finished all the cooking already. Mm. When did everyone arrive, though? Talk to the guests. A party with customers. There's been a lot of progress. Very good. Has there? Restaurants should put customers first. Food, drink, service. The customers are the basic foundation of a restaurant. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef in his cooking. 
I was also here from the beginning. Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. Do you remember what I told you back then about the reviews on Cookster? You said there wasn't any real mention of me. But now people do mention you, albeit rarely. They say things like, he poured me hot green tea. He was working hard preparing the wasabi. He was friendly. He looked busy. Oh. The customers are recognizing your hard work. That makes me feel good. Customers are honest and intuitive, more so than you think. Hmm. That's why I find this moment hard to believe, that obstinate Bancho is working with people, holding parties. It's thanks to you, Dave. Hmm. Oh, it makes me wonder what he was like in the past. I can't divulge details about someone else's past. Maybe someday I might be able to tell you. Is this the end of the first chapter? It feels end of chapter -y, doesn't it? And we're going to do one of these every end of chapter? We'll find out. Dave, congratulations! Word of Bancho, word of Bancho Sushi is getting around. Look at this squid tentacle, sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. I bet more people will flock here if such things are offered on the menu. Aren't we eating this because it's difficult to serve to customers? You're right, what a pity. Everyone will want to try something that looks like this, regardless of the flavour. Regardless of the flavour? There's no way Bancho could stomach that. Let's go with something else. All right, about the depths. I have a feeling there must be things down there. Things that will make people jump out of their seats. If Dr. Bacon's research is successful, this place will be famous. When that happens, we'll make tons of money. Let's keep it at it, Dave. Oh, Dave, what is it? I saw the sea people. You what? You really saw sea people and not dugongs? What did they look like? Were they dressed? Did they resemble humans? <laughs> Their torsos look like our own, but the sight of me scared them off into the depths. That's too bad. It could have been an amazing find. That means we might encounter them in the depths. That's where the signal's strongest. Perhaps there's even a village. A village? Yes, they have artifacts, murals, a language. They are beings with a unique civilization. It would not be surprising in the least for them to live together in a village of sorts. That would be quite the find. An ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed. Dave, you're my best hope. A giant squid tentacle. It really is an ingredient that's difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. You're still studying the ingredients. Good work today, bringing back precious ingredients. This is a difficult sort to prepare, but that's part of the fun of cooking. How does it taste? Food's always been great, but today's is even more. Spectacular. Since there was a lot of it, I made many different dishes, though we won't be able to offer these to customers. Seems to be no end to the path of the chef. Are we going to, like, choose a dish and it'll be a special upgrade or something? Is that what's happening? Bancho's food's so nice. I can understand the growing popularity. Maybe it's because I caught the fish. In any case, a lot of stuff going on. A giant squid. Sea people. No end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. I suppose I'll go even deeper tomorrow. I wonder what I'll find. I'll think about that tomorrow. Time to toast with everyone and the rest. Morning. Oh, I must have drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. You did seem a bit excited. <laughs> you don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of occasion calls for joviality. <laughs> you can't throw up here, Dr. Bacon. I'm not the drinker I used to be. In any case, take the deep sea headlamp Duff gave you and try venturing down into the depths. It'll probably turn on automatically when you reach the right depth. Don't forget, you have to enhance your diving suit. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Good 
Just look at it there. So much. Man emptied himself. Um, chapter two. Let's check the posts on Cookster. It's important for us to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed part two of Dave the Typher. I've been enjoying this game and just so many of you commented I had to come back and do a part two. We'll see how this video does, but I hope that you enjoyed it and that you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for watching.